A woman will spend years in prison for scamming millions from victims in a pyramid scheme. Investigators say she used a Raleigh antique store as her front. Mike Charbonneau has more from the federal courthouse in New Bern. An honest woman, she can only lie. Lorraine Busoletto says the rainy trip from Cary to the federal courthouse in New Bern was worth it. She came to make sure Patricia Jacoby was properly punished for her crime. I honestly feel that she needed to be away from society. Jacoby pled guilty to wire fraud in March. Investigators say she set up this antique store in Raleigh as part of a pyramid scheme. They say she scammed more than 100 people out of $2.5 million. Jacoby claimed she bought antiques from estate sales and promised investors a 22% return within 30 days. Busoletto lost $20,000. I've learned a valuable lesson for $20,000. In court Wednesday, a federal judge sentenced Jacoby to nearly 10 years in prison and ordered her to pay victims outstanding restitution of more than $1.6 million. And it's not even the money so much now to me. It was seeing the fact that this has come, come to an end. Busoletto told her story during the hearing, calling Jacoby an incredibly selfish woman. Jacoby offered a tearful apology to her victims, saying the incident caused her, quote, untold sadness, remorse, and terrible guilt. Remorse? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Jacoby was found guilty twice before in similar schemes. Investigators say she was using money from this scheme to pay restitution to previous victims. Busoletto knows it could be years before she gets anything. I'm just glad that Jacoby's off the street. Mike Charbonneau, WRL News, New Bern. Prosecutors are still working to find assets that could be sold to help pay the victims. At her request, the judge will recommend Jacoby continue mental and health, rather mental health and substance abuse programs in jail. She's hoping to serve her sentence at Alderson Prison in West Virginia. And if Alderson sounds familiar, there's good reason. Former State Ag Commissioner Meg Scott Phipps served more than three years there for taking illegal campaign contributions. That West Virginia prison also made headlines with another famous inmate, Martha Stewart.